sometimes people think, oh, it's just a Zoom movie. Like you guys probably just shot it in your houses, but it, it's it a lot goes into it. Gary called June. Mom, this is FaceTime. Oh gosh, I need you to write a couple of things down. The car keys. I just said write it down. You're not writing it down. Keep your location on the entire time I'm away. No fun. Got it. Ah! Well, congratulations on the film. Um, the filmmakers behind Searching gave us a little history last night at the screening about Nick. You were the editor on Searching. And so uh, you and the other editor now are uh, directors of this movie. So congratulations. Yes. Thank you so much. Yeah. So this kind of movie where everything's seen through the computer lens and an eye and a phone, I mean, on the back end, it's a lot of work, right? Because you have the actor talking to a camera directly, which is bizarre, I'm sure, for any actor. Um, but there's a lot of I me. Mean, I was just watching it just for like editing purposes. And there's a lot, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, I think sometimes people think, oh, it's just a Zoom movie. Like you guys probably just shot it in your houses. But it, it's it a lot goes into it. All these little pieces that you see have to be very meticulously lit and and um, and and staged and and planned out. Um, and so it's it's really it's a really challenging thing finding that balance of making something that feels grounded and real, but also is something that people want to see in a movie theater. Um, so yeah, that's that's definitely one of the biggest challenges. And Natalie, for you as a producer, what are the challenges in you know bringing this kind of a movie together, especially with actors who are not used to? I mean, it's been done before slightly, but a lot of actors are not used to just talking directly to a camera. They're used to interacting <laughs> with someone. Yeah, I mean, it's a huge it's a huge challenge for everyone working, and we like to we always say like everyone had to relearn their craft to some extent because nothing we're doing is traditional. But I would say on a like a macro level, it's kind of like producing a whole live action movie and then a whole animated movie as well and like merging those two together so i'm constantly learning things i didn't know and we're borrowing things um from animation like on this film we we pre the entire film before we shot any of the live action photography so we had basically a whole cut of the movie that we used as a map um to kind of guide us on set so that was a something non-traditional for a live action movie and I wanted to know uh, Siri, they use Siri um, in the movie. So do you have to get permission from Apple to kind of use her name or is Siri kind of like it's a great, free range? It's, free a great, range. it's a great question. You know, it would take a lot of time to get into all that. Um, but yes, you know, Siri's everywhere. Watching too, probably. Yeah, probably <laughs> listening right now. <laughs> Well, it's, I, I, lo I loved it. It was uh, a good movie because it's like your modern day detective movie now, now, right? It's like it's really changed a lot. It's transition where people go out and investigate. It's like it could all be done in a home. So what was it like for you forming this detective? I mean, the searching is kind of a detective movie as well, but I think here you're pretty much stationary, right? Absolutely. I mean, we, we're constantly borrowing from, from classic movies that we love, whether it's Hitchcock, Spielberg, whatever. We're, we're, what we're taking is just traditional cinematic language and, and telling it in a, in a new visual way. Um, and I think that's what sets this movie apart from other you know, screen movies, and that's what makes it such a fun cinematic theatrical experience as well. Yeah, you feel really immersed in it because there's grain in there, just like you would yeah. see. Because at first I thought, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, it's grain. Duh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good oh, attention. Man, great, great, great eye. Good, Good eye, eye. Yeah. 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 So is that difficult to, or is that easy to put into? Because I'm assuming you have the great, the, like, the best cameras shooting, but now they have to go back and kind of uh, compress it. Give it the oh man, yeah, yeah, we could get real nerdy with this, but yeah, we love adding those details, that little compression that that happens um, during streaming. the The goal is always to make it cinematic, something that you know people want to watch, but it's really important. It's got to feel real. So uh, yeah, we'll crank it through compressor a couple times and and add that that crunchy compression because uh, I think that's something relatable. Um, and if you don't have that, something feels fake. Right, exactly. Well, yeah. congratulations. Uh, really good movie, especially when you're stuck with one character. I mean, I was paying attention the whole time. So it was really, it was really, it paid off. Thank you so Amazing. much. Thank Thanks you for so the much. attention to detail. Yeah, I love that. Thank you. <laughs>